If so, I am. Well, if I turn around. Turn around. Oh, good. Now everybody so knows I what am. happens when I film myself while walking and talking right, so at the same time. I can't do all three at once. Parking lot. So it wasn't as far away as I thought. I said it was two miles, but I don't think it was. Here's the entrance to Via Vilandia. There's the pedestrian bridge and the parking lot. You can see it all has. Cover the solar panel. Welcome to Coaster Trek. This is the walkthrough video of the Abilandia, which there. opened up in 1965. And this is probably the original entrance, and they bought some land. And now the entrance is over here. I got here super early, so I'm going to take a little video of outside the park first. Walk down a little bit. And they just have to have a spinning wild mouse. Proof that there is a hell. Never forget your bus schedule, or else it's a long walk back. We are in! And they don't open early at all. So we're going to take this magic escalator ride across the highway to the park. So I did get a hotel room that was walking distance to the park this morning. But I'm going to have to take the bus this afternoon to go back to the train station. Via Bilandia is a very old school amusement park. Their ride's still closed from 1 to 2 so the operators can eat lunch. And then everybody's trying to get lunch in restaurants that are only open from like 11 to 3. The tour of this park is going to be counterclockwise, and then you can watch videos of the other major rides. The train, the boat, Peter Pan walkthrough, the Castle Dark ride, and then the roller coasters. Plus the two shows, the Western show and the circus show, have their own videos. Be sure to watch those too. Oh, and the dragon boats over here, they're great. And good news, they have lockers here because I was carrying a suitcase and needed a place, but that locker machine was really problematic. It was hard to figure out how to get a locker. And this is the first thing you see when you come into the park. Merlin's Magic Castle on the right, and the Dragon Boats on the left. And you can find Merlin's Magic Castle Dark Ride, and the Dragon Boat Ride, and the Maze over there on the right, in their own separate videos. Here is a view of the outdoor portion of the Dragon Boat Ride, and over here is Lake Bernardo. Now, this theme park is pretty small, and Lake Bernardo covers like half of it. It's a big rectangle that covers almost half of the acreage of the park. And over here along the wall, you can see apartments on the other side, and the actual train, the regular Italian train, zooms by there about every 10 minutes. And this restaurant with the pagoda style architecture is right behind the Fung Mi Le, Fung Li Maze and the Dragon Boat Ride. But it really doesn't have Asian style food. It's basically your, it's your basic Italian theme park food. And sorry about this, but nature is calling and I'll be back in a minute. Has anyone ever noticed that carp and bass living in a theme park lake always act like they're starving to death? And these poor turtles, they're down there. They aren't getting any at all. I tried so hard, but the birds and the fish just beat them to it. What was really amazing while I was feeding these fish, these two little girls over here are also feeding the fish, and they are only four years old but already fluent in Italian. How amazing is that? There are two old steam locomotives here. The one on the left I couldn't get to, but the one on the right you can climb around. 
It was built in 1910, so let's take a look. And both locomotives are right next to the regular train, which only runs four times a day, which is kind of annoying. And over here on the right inside is a model of the Does. Okay, he's not working. In this corner is the Peter Pan walk through. The pirate ship was closed. I'm not sure if you could go in when COVID season is out. And they also have this walk through with some really nicely dressed mermaids. And I have a complete video of the Peter Pan walkthrough available. Hey guys! Hi! Hi! Hello! Hi! Well, emergency exit, that's what that means. Okay. And that's the train track. Wait, this car ride doesn't have a rail between the tires. They could just go anywhere, couldn't they? This is called the Apache Village. Any native Apaches out there, feel free to uh, verify the accuracy of this village. And inside is nothing. Fort Laramie. And there in the distance is the Navajo village. Anyone with Navajo heritage can also point out anything that wasn't quite accurate.
Oh my gosh, keep, keeping out the Italians from the fort. The mine train has its own video as well as the other roller coasters. Let's see what you can do. Mi piacciono i soldini. Ecco il tuo regalo. Grazie. Gioca ancora con me. Ah, a little heart. Okay. Alright, what is this? This is a shooting gallery, right? This is the train station of the western town, but it's really more of a gift shop and a place to feed ducks. The steamboat also has a port here and also only travels four times a day and strangely has a confederate flag. They also have the western show over here. I have a little bit of this show on a video and next door is a circus. They have one of each each day and they are actually the same performers. There in the distance is a tent for birthday parties you can reserve. We're going to look in there in just a second. And here it is. Oh, it's cool in here. Three fifty 50 for a train. The Valley of the Nubs Wacky Worm Roller Coaster opened in 1976. It was the first, and it has its own video. So the log ride and the two other roller coasters are newer, and it's completely clear they were added to a section that used to probably be parking lot. 
then you would go through the old entrance and now they have the parking lot across the street and you use the overpass. It reminded me a lot of how Knott's Berry Farm put Camp Snoopy in part of their old parking lot. And the log ride on both coasters are in a video of all the roller coasters of Thiebilandia and you can check that out too. Europa in there. This model of Europe in miniature really wasn't that great, so we're gonna go through it real quick. Yeah, here's all the rides. Team Raider. This is home to the Laser Man show, but either I missed it or I didn't show today. Oh, they're all movie makers. This is a slow merry-go-round. And the music is from Bolero. Okay, let's go with this one. The Venetian Carousel. Not that I ever saw one in Venice. Horses up there go up and down too. Oh, the horses on. Okay, some of them go up and down, some don't. This is also a really slow. Uh, I see you guys. Alright. They want corn. How much is the corn? 50 cents. And that is Fiabilandia walkthrough. Thanks for viewing. You can also see more of the park and individual rides in the playlist. 
and please check out my other videos and playlists, and most important of all, click that like button, the share button, and that subscribe button. And I will see you again soon. But I've fooled around feeding the fish too long. I gotta go catch that bus, so join me on the trip to go get that bus. And I do have to make a pit stop at that room with the W and the C in front of it, or else there's gonna be an explosion on the bus. So number nine should be here at five ten or five.